Well, <clears throat> someone else put up a billboard that said, that was awkward. <laughs> uh, no one knows when. Jesus himself says in Matthew chapter 24, no one knows about that day or hour, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. Jesus is the Son. Jesus is the second person of the Trinity. Jesus is God. But he's saying, I don't know. How can anyone be so presumptuous to think that I've figured it out? I've looked at the blueprints. I've followed them carefully. I know when it's going to happen. I did get a, uh, <laughs> I got an email from a, a slightly more uh, liberal uh, colleague of mine in the, in the ministry. And he said, so-and-so, whatever the name is, predicted that the Jesus was coming. He said, uh, and it, this was in October, he, he revised it to October. It's November now. He said, uh, funny, I don't think the rapture has happened. I'm still here. Mm -hmm. So just to kind of devil with him, I emailed him back and I said, heaven is wonderful. Wish you were here. <laughs> Nobody knows the day or the hour that Jesus will come. People will come to me and they'll say, Preacher, don't you think that it's closer now? I mean, look at how terrible the world is. Look at how horrible it is. You know, all these economic problems and, and all, of the, all the prophets. And I, you know, and I just, look, I don't want to insult anybody, okay? And I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, but I, I just want to say, would you please read some history? Would you please check it out? We are not in the worst of possible times. Please, go back, read. 1350, the Black Plague killed more than 100 million people in just a few years in Europe. Between whatever it was, 1337 or 1453, the, the, the Hundred Years' War, half of the population in France was gone because of the war. Go back just a few years. Hitler and gassed and incinerated over 10 million people. Stalin did more than that. And then we had, we had the Great Depression here in the United States. 30% un, unemployment. Arkansas and, and Texas and Oklahoma were turned into the Dust Bowl. Come on! Let's get some perspective. It ain't that bad. Not as bad as we sometimes like to pretend that it is. But on the other hand, is it closer? I was talking to a friend of mine who sells farm equipment up in, uh, up in Paracool. It's a time of, uh, of drought. You all know we've been through a series of some serious droughts. Some of you who are farmers know that. And he was out trying to sell some of this equipment. He was talking to a farmer, but he said this farmer had the best attitude. He said, we're just one day closer to the next big rain. Isn't that great? We're just one day closer to the next big rain. We are just one day closer to Christ's coming, whether it's today or 10,000 years from now. Here's what Peter says. Do not forget this one thing, dear friends. With the Lord, a day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years are like a day. The Lord is not slow in keeping His promise, as some understand slowness. He is patient with you. Not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. The delay, if anything, is about His love. He wants all of us, as many as possible, to come to know Him. So, the next time you turn on the television, and there's somebody with big hair talking about, about the second coming of Jesus, and I don't mean that in a derogatory way, it does sound that way, doesn't it? But I want you to remember what Jesus said to the disciples before the ascension. He said, It is not for you to know the times or dates the Father has set by His own authority. And do yourself a favor. Turn it off. No one knows when. But one more thing. The fourth thing you need to know. <laughs> Be ready. As Sidney said so well to the children, be ready. If you knew when the tornado was coming, would you take cover? If you knew when the new matter fault was going to shift, and you know it's going to, it's just a matter of time, would you, would you lay up a 
a stock of, 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 of water and food? Would you be ready? If you knew that you were going to go into labor tonight, would you have eaten that chili cheese dog? Or would you have gotten ready? Would you be prepared? Look, in all seriousness, if you don't know Jesus as your Savior, if you've not turned your life over to Him, please do so. Be ready. Don't leave that matter. Don't think, oh well, it, it can come at any time. But Jesus also speaks to the church and He tells us how, what we're to do. Therefore keep watch because you do not know on what day your Lord will come. But understand this, if the owner of the house had known at what time of night the thief was coming, he would have kept watch and would not have let his house be broken into. So you also must be ready because the Son of Man will come at an hour when you do not expect Him. Be ready as faithful Christians, as faithful husbands and wives, as faithful employers and employees, as faithful stewards of God's creation. Be ready. Jesus says, Who then is the faithful and wise servant whom the Master has put in charge of the servants in his household to give them their food at the proper time? It will be good for that servant whose Master finds him doing so when he returns. Do live as you have been called to live. Be ready. I'm going to close with a poem. Elizabeth Rebecca Daniels from Devonshire, England, housewife. She wrote some poetry. She wrote in the pen name Faye Inchfond. And she wrote one time about looking for Jesus on those days that things aren't going all that great. Days that kind of seem kind of mundane. She wrote this. Sometimes when everything goes wrong, when days are short and nights are long, when wash day brings so dull a sky, that not a single thing will dry. When friends deplore my faded youth, and when the baby cuts a tooth, while John the baby last but one clings around my skirts till day is done, and fat good-natured Jane is blown, and butcher man forgets to come. Sometimes, I say, on days like these, I get a sudden gleam of bliss. Not on some sunny day of ease he'll come, but on the day Be ready. He is coming. We live between the now and the not yet. We don't know when. But be ready. Will you pray with me?